What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Meme Hair. I'm dressed kind of um, uh, like it's cold because it is cold. Today is like a very weird, like particularly cold day. Uh, the highest it will be is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's just crazy to me. Uh, like, you know, since I said Fahrenheit, I might as well look up what that is in Celsius. It's 21 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the high, uh, the hottest it's gonna be today. And these past few days, it's been like, oh, like the hottest is like 80 degrees or like even like 85. And it was, it was horrifying. Um, and you know, I'm I'm really liking this heat. I'm having a great time. Um, You guys want to see something interesting? Um, let me open up fruit.org for this example. But actually, let me make sure there's nothing I uh... Okay, we're good. So, something interesting about Brave is um, it's kind of not good. Well, I mean, I like it. Uh, it's just the my philosophy toward browsers has changed. Uh, back in the past, um, my reasoning behind everything is that I wanted to maximize screen space. I wanted to be like, I, well, I, what, gener I had this more general philosophy of wanting to maximize content, right? Um, so I would watch all my videos on times two point, like times two point three speed. Uh, now I do one point five speed, um, and I would have my uh, my status bar be as thin as possible, and I would have my browser, like, top bar be as thin as possible so I can maximize the amount of pixels that YouTube takes up on my screen, and I've described this, I've described this philosophy before, right? Um, and a prime example of this philosophy would actually be my, um, my LibreVille setup. So as you can see right now, uh, let's just open up the new tab page. You can see that my LibreWolf uh, instance takes up l way less space here than my Brave instance, right? Uh, the reason why is because LibreWolf is based on Firefox, which is way more customizable. Um, and uh, so you're able to do cool things like this. So the way it would work is it would only show my tab page, right? And I also have this thing called Tab Slider, which um, brings um, all of my tabs to the left, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I would have um, this, and then when you highlight over the tab menu, it would show not only your bookmarks, but also your address block, because they're merged into one bar, as you can see. Um, and, you know, I just think that's interesting. Um, and that's what I would do up here with my status bar as well. The status bar is 13 pixels tall, um, and it's because I wanted it to be as thin as possible, and I wanted my LibreWolf to be as thin as possible. So then when I have YouTube open, uh, or any website, I'm seeing as many pixels of the website as I can. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, now, as you can see, this takes up a whole lot of space, but something I do, and I would hate to have my bookmarks bar here all the time, right? So I've done it to where I have, um, just, uh, I, I, I don't have the bookmarks bar showing up at all, right? When I'm, when I'm in anything except for the new tab page. Um, but the thing that sucks about this is I have a pretty common, um, let me open up uh, fruit.org on here. No. Um, come on. Yeah, so uh, I would have this thing that I would always do where I would highlight over something and then I would middle click on it to open it in a new tab and that's how I would open things. But now, now the thing I have to do so I have to do control, I have to do control T, right? And then I, I have to go like that. And that's like a lot of trouble. Um, and that's a little bothersome, but honestly, I'm, I'm really, really, really liking Brave. Um, you know, uh, everything, like particularly Google services, and I'm always on YouTube, right? And Google services just run so much faster, which is nice. And, um, you know, the, the hardening is a little less, um, uh, like, like, like schizophrenic, um, lack of a better term, uh, it, it's a little less, uh, the hardening is a little less extreme, um, 
and my hardening on Blueberry Wolf was pretty extreme, and that's just because I would follow hardening guides, which are typically pretty extreme. Uh, but Brave, their defaults are pretty good, and you know, I've done some browser tests, and it seems pretty, um, like, it doesn't seem like there's any, like, too much of a, of a botnet, you know. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking Brave, and Google services run so much better because it's based off Chromium instead of what, um, what web engine does Firefox use? It's based off of Chromium instead of, is it Gecko? Okay, instead of Gecko. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm liking Brave. Uh, it's good, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I wish it was more customizable and I wish I could make everything take up less space because it's, a, it's still kind of bothersome to me. Um, another thing that's bothersome is that this reload button is here, but I don't need the reload button, I can just press F5. Another irritating thing is how these buttons are here. When I don't need these buttons, I could just go forwards and backwards on my mouse, right? Like I have, I have forwards and backwards buttons. And another thing that's bothersome is how there's X's on the tab, so I can just middle click on them. Um, and on LibreWolf, as you can see, hold on, let me open up LibreWolf. Um, as you can see, I have removed the arrow keys and the reload button and the close and the close tab button because I don't need them. I I, I don't need them. Um, and yeah, I just uh, just very minor gripes, but it's not enough. It's not enough of a trade off compared to the benefits of the Chromium engine. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, I look a little. It was bad to do seven minutes into the video, but I look a little too white. I, I, I'm trying to prevent, like, this glowiness. Like, I'm, I'm trying to make it to where it's not, like, FF0000 white anywhere on my face. Okay, that works. Um, but, yeah. Um, for breakfast... Oh, I forgot to mention what food I ate. Uh, for breakfast, I had, um... Uh... Uh, uh, like a small bowl of like quinoa salad. Uh, for lunch, I didn't have anything. For dinner, we're probably gonna be having hot dogs. Um, I also exercised today, but my phone's in the living room, so we are back. Um, so today, I was actually able to get on the treadmill um, about an hour earlier. I went on the treadmill yesterday at around 10. Today, I went on the treadmill at around nine. Um, I started out my workout by doing a two mile walk um, it was 35 minutes. I burned 361 calories. My average heart rate was 130. Um, and then I was able to do um, a five, five mile run. Um, and that took 54 minutes. I burned 681 calories and my average heart rate was 154. Um, I also gained a little award for it being my, my longest running workout, which is cool. Um, so. I got a little award. Um, and then after that, because I had an extra hour of time, I just sort of walked another two miles and that took 36 minutes. Um, I burned um, 182 calories and my average heart rate was 117. And um, yeah, it's really nice because my move goal was actually way ahead for today. It's, uh, um, it's gone like around and then back. <clears throat> yeah, it's. It's gone like around. What is happening? It's gone around, and then like ar around. I've I've burned more than I need to uh, to close my move goal. Uh, so yeah, I, I walked nine point seven eight miles today, and I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I needed to start doing some uh, some calisthenics because I um right now I am because I weigh myself every morning. Right now I am um. 170.9 pounds and I've been on a bit of a of a of a bender lately so uh, up until recently so I've been gaining quite a bit of weight um, but 
you know, I, I've been losing weight consistently for the past um, uh, seven days. Um, and I used to be at 181 on July 16th, but now today I'm um, uh, 170.9. So I've, I've lost 11 pounds and that's pretty good. I'm trying to get her to around 160 uh, because I was at 160 in the past and I felt pretty good then, but you know, I look at myself in the mirror and to be fair, I'm not very bloated, but I look very skinny. So I'm not sure how I lost 10 more pounds, kind of spooky. Um, I, yeah, I'll, 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 I think I'll lose the weight and see how I feel, but um, I think when I was 160 pounds, I would see myself in the mirror and I would be bloated from drinking a lot of water. Um, and maybe bloated isn't the right term. I would have drink, drank a lot of water so I don't look as skinny as I am. So I look in the mirror and then I get weird brain worms. And so I'm like, and so um, my, uh, and so maybe I was just trying to be the weight to where even if I was really bloated, I would still look skinny. And I think that's maybe, maybe bad. Um, so maybe I should try and balance out at 170 because I look pretty good right now. Um, but I, I think I might take it down to 160, see how, see how I feel. Um, if I notice myself getting brain worms, um, or if I notice myself getting brain worms, you know, after I gain some weight, um, I'll, I'll probably, uh, try to stick it around 170 or maybe 165. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I just know that, cause the thing is, is that I, uh, lost a lot of weight, right? Um, like you look at my older videos, like from even what, like a few years ago and, uh, you know, I was pretty heavy, right? I, I had a lot of weight on my face. Um, and I was around 205 pounds. Um, and over COVID, I just went on the treadmill a lot. I lost a lot of weight. Um, and now I am, I am in the, in the trap of gaining weight. Uh, I was losing weight every day, so it was good to weigh myself every day. But you know, now, um, you know, now I'm not losing weight every day, but I'm still weighing myself every day. So I worry that that gives me brain worms. Uh, and I, I'm, I have like weird, like, I, I don't think like, I don't think I have that many issues around food at all. Uh, you know, sometimes I walk into the kitchen quite a few times looking for a snack and then I'm like, oh, I, I'm not hungry. And then I go back into my room. Um, like I'm never, I'm never hungry without eating, you know, when, whenever I'm hungry, I eat, but, um, you know, I, I found a lot of my weight gain is because I just want food in my mouth. Um, and I'm not necessarily like heart hungry for food, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah, I need to do some calisthenics because I, um, can actively see, uh, my muscles and that they aren't very developed. Um, and you know, I don't, um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to be uh, super muscular, but, um, you know, I, I want to be, um, you know, I want to be healthy, right? And so I, I might do some calisthenics. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just hanging out. I'm just doing my thing. Uh, I've been looking at my, I've been watching a lot of videos about hair loss on YouTube. And so I'm, I'm, I'm worried about my hairline. Uh, I don't know if it's going up. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll go on the next ride or something. I don't know why I'm talking about why well, I don't know why this entire video is about like is about like body image. So strange. So weird. Sorry guys. Um Yeah. Uh, something I also like about Brave is how um how this works. How how you can see like a little dashboard. I think it's I think it's very cool. I, I think it's cool to know how much time I saved because of my ad blocker. Um, and I, you know I've been using ad blockers my whole life, but you know it's still interesting. And I'm sure if I didn't have YouTube Premium, it would yell a lot more. Um, I've been having this issue where YouTube hasn't been um, storing my watch data, and I used to get really angry and think this is an issue with YouTube, but I genuinely think I, I think it's an issue with my pie hole because um, and. <laughs> For the record, Piehole is um, this uh, software that um, sort of you, you, it filters out all of your, the stuff c coming from your computer to your router, um, and it removes all the tracking data, um, and it perceives um, YouTube history data as tracking data, and I guess it is, um, but I just I just want that data to be tracked. So um, yeah, so I'm 
I'm gonna whitelist that in pie hole. I didn't know what the issue was. I thought it was an issue with YouTube, but after thinking about it a bit, you know, the, you know, all of the devices I, I watch YouTube with are connected to pie hole. So, you know, I, I should probably um, do that. Um, yeah, I think that might be it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. What? Oh, we're not, it's not a 70 millimeter theater. We're not watching Oppenheimer in a 70 millimeter theater. I was aware that there were only like 30 in the US or something crazy like that. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I asked my, my, cause I remember telling my dad in the past about 70 millimeter theaters, my dad was like, Hey, we're going to be watching Oppenheimer at a 70 millimeter theater in this place, in this place. And the place sounded like it would have a 70 millimeter IMAX projector. I've been there before. They have really cool stuff. It sounds like a thing they would have. And so I didn't really question it. I was like, Oh, that must, you know, that must be one of the locations, but turns out the closest one is in San Francisco. So, you know, I'm still going to be watching Oppenheimer and it'll still be, uh, I think the second best behind 70 millimeter, but it won't be in that weird 70 millimeter aspect ratio or anything, you know, oh well, um, or it's still going to be a, a pretty good experience. So, you know, yeah. Uh, and I think that's it. Um, yeah. All right. I hope everybody has a good day and, uh. All right, see you.